And I'm Kristen Cho. And I'm Cameron Word. Welcome. We start a brand new week. We do. And uh, how is your week going so far? It's, well, it's, it's pretty going early. Well. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty early. But something interesting has happened recently. What? So, you know when you, like, crave a food? Yeah. Like you, it's like, oh, I want something spicy. Okay. Oh, I want something sweet. All right. Lately, I've been craving bland food. What do you, okay, so B-L-A-N-D, bland. Yes. This means that it's neither salty or sweet. Yeah, or spicy, spicy. or sour. Uh-huh. It's like no, like food with oh, no flavor. wow. So I've just been making really flavorless food at home and eating so much of it. Really? Yeah. Rice. Like just rice. Just rice. Or like beans. Uh-huh. But no seasoning. No, no salt or pepper? No salt or pepper. What? White bread. Not toast. Not like putting it in the toaster yeah. and then yeah. put it... No. Oh. Just white cheekbone. Just eating it. I don't know. But I'm loving it. I guess it, you know... Is your body telling you something? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's telling maybe you... Maybe it's telling me to slow down. Yeah, maybe it's telling you, you know what? I need to just... I need to take it easy. But slow down on all the the spices and the the saltiness. It's so true. Yeah. But yeah, it's just okay. like I'll, I'll eat like potatoes with wow. no no sp- no seasoning. But I'm I'm loving it. So I'm well. It, good for you. It makes my my food bills uh huh very cheap. Okay. Right. <laughs> No need to spend money on salt and pepper and spices. Or like, you know, uh-huh. you're like, oh, I really want Indian curry. Yeah, I, yeah. You don't have to like get delivery food. Right, right. You can just go to the bakery and get... Well, shibam. I think that's good for you. I think that's good for you, uh, Cameron. Have you been doing well this week? Uh, so far, so good. Oh. I'm actually planning to make a, win- a soup. Oh. Maybe not a winter soup, but you know, today we're talking about food. Mm. We're talking about winter soups. Yes. I need a special soup. So all month we've been talking about soups, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Today we want something special yes. because it's the parents' anniversary party. Mm. And so we're going to find out what it is in just a bit. Yes. But before we begin, mm-hmm. let's look at our three expressions. Yes. Now, Throw a party. We could say have a party. Throw a party. Yeah. Same thing? The meaning is the same, mm-hmm. but throw does feel more like a celebration. Yeah. Hey. Oh. So there is not a change in meaning with mm. have a party, mm-hmm. but the feeling is more joyous. Okay. Very good. Mm. Um, to tug, T-U-G, or pull at one's heart strings. Yes. So heart strings is one word. Mm-hmm. Okay. What? could this mean so this means to become sentimental or emotional mm-hmm. it's when you like see a movie yeah. and you become sad oh. or nostalgic so it's pulling at your heart yeah like your emotions yes ah okay all right and to be in one's good graces this means that he, someone thinks good of you mm-hmm. you have their approval you are in good favor. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and listen to our soup dialogue. Bethany, I'm throwing a party for my parents' anniversary, and I was hoping you would make a special soup for me. I've never cooked for a large group. It's a lot of pressure. I know it's a big ask. Maybe I can try to make Italian wedding soup as good as it was at their wedding. You're tugging at my heartstrings, Mason. When is it? Next Saturday. And you're invited, of course. If you do this, you'll be in my mother's good graces for life. I hope so. Okay, so Mason begins by saying, Bethany, I'm throwing a party for my parents' anniversary, and I was hoping you would make a special soup for me. Mm. Okay, so uh, Mason, the, his parents, it's their anniversary. He wants a special party. Yes. Maybe that's why he uses the expression throw a party mm. instead of have a party. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. It does seem the nuance is just a little different, Mm -hmm. but throw a party Mm. does feel more fun. It does. Feels like you you want to do it. Yeah. Where 
have a party is like, uh, I don't want to, but I guess I have to have a party. Right. We don't know. It could be like, oh, I'm having a party or like I'll have to have a party yeah. or have a meeting. Yes. You know, here's a question. Would you say something like throw a meeting? <laughs> throw a meeting. Throw a meeting. Meeting. Actually has a different meaning. Oh. It means to make the meeting go bad. Like when you say wow. to throw a game, oh. like a, to throw a basketball game <laughs> mm-hmm. is to intentionally lose, lose. the basketball mm. game. So you can't use this throw for every event, uh-huh. but you can use it for throw a party, throw a birthday party, mm-hmm. throw a retirement party. Repar- usually with parties. Yeah. yeah. It's usually, mm-hmm. we don't use it mm-hmm. for all events okay Mm. but party and that's why throw a party they go together so it could be any kind of party Mm -hmm. and you can throw it yes okay and so the difference like you said was that this has more kind of a celebratory it's more of a celebration Mm -hmm. kind of exciting okay yes um bethany says what i've never cooked for a large group it's a lot of pressure yeah you know cooking for yourself and Mm -hmm. your family versus cooking for a big group yeah two different things oh yeah it's so different oh so different so hard yeah my dad Mm. he had seven siblings Mm -hmm. seven brothers and sisters yeah so his mother was used to always cooking for a big group Mm -hmm. he said that whenever all the all of her children left the house Mm -hmm. my grandmother didn't know how to cook (gasps) oh She had the opposite problem. Oh. She was used to cooking for a lot of people. Oh. So when she had to cook for two people, uh-huh. she didn't know how to do it. She didn't know how to make the dishes smaller. Smaller. Yeah. You know how Korean people say like, Sony uh. you know, how they make a lot of food. Yeah. It's actually sometimes harder to make smaller portions of food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you live alone. Yeah. Sometimes when you have to cook for one person, yeah. it can be hard to judge the amount that you need. Interesting. Mm. Mason says, I know it's a big ask. Maybe I can try to make Italian wedding soup as mm. good as it was at their wedding. Yes. Okay. This is a really interesting um, expression here. It's a power vocab. A big ask yeah okay so first of all we know ask yeah. to ask right but this is used as a noun right mm. this is a very very modern usage of the word ask mm-hmm. i would think if you went back even 30 years ago yeah it would sound really odd yeah. to use this phrase. Right. But now it's very common, especially in business settings, mm-hmm. but even nowadays in more casual settings, mm-hmm. to use the word ask to mean a request. Right. So Mason could have said, I know it's a big request. Yes. But he said, mm-hmm. I know it's a big ask. He's mm-hmm. asking a favor. Right. So whereas ask used to be a verb mm-hmm. it can now also be used as a noun yeah. to mean request yeah and you and i think there's like you need a an adjective in front of it like a big ask can we just say like i know this is an ask that sounds weird you can't in this case yes but if you were in a business setting mm-hmm. and you were doing a contract negotiation mm-hmm. you could say oh what was the company's ask okay meaning they you know they are going to request Mm -hmm. something Mm -hmm. to change Mm -hmm. something in the contract Mm -hmm. what was it in that case you can use it without an adjective Uh but usually it will be seen as a a big ask or i know it's a little bit of an ask Uh uh-huh but got it interesting okay so mason is like oh maybe i can make that italian wedding soup and Mm. bethany says you're tugging at my heartstrings mason when is it yes okay so if someone tugs at your heartstrings yeah what is it saying it's making you emotional usually in a happy way yeah can be sad Mm -hmm. but it's that feeling of oh That when you make that sound, <laughs> yeah. when you pull those hard strings, uh-huh. that's the sound you make. Right. It's like you're kind of creating sympathy, mm-hmm. a 
kind of like nostalgia and all of those things. Yeah. Okay. We'll give you more examples in a bit. What does Mason say? Next Saturday, and you're invited, of course. If you do this, you'll be in my mother's good graces for life. Okay. If you do this, is our power pattern. Yeah. So this is often used after you've made a request.、Mm -hmm. We're saying like, if you do this favor for me, yeah, this is the result you will have. These are. The, this is what I will do for you. Right.、Mm, it's、mm -hmm. telling the the outcome of the request you will fulfill. Right. And if you are in someone's good graces, G R A C E S, it means that they think good of you. They they think highly of you. They think you're a good person. Okay. We'll give you more examples in just a bit. Let's go ahead and listen to that dialogue one more time. Bethany. I'm throwing a party for my parents' anniversary, and I was hoping you would make a special soup for me. I've never cooked for a large group. It's a lot of pressure. I know it's a big ask. Maybe I can try to make Italian wedding soup as good as it was at their wedding. You're tugging at my heartstrings, Mason. When is it? Next Saturday, and you're invited, of course. If you do this. You'll be in my mother's good graces for life. I hope so. Let's look at power note. We're on pages one thirty four, one thirty six, and thirty seven. If you throw a party, you are basically having a party. But it's most, it's more about celebration. Yeah, yeah.、Mm. Uh, the summer is almost over. Let's do something fun. Why don't we throw a party for all of our friends? Yeah, to celebrate the end of summer.、Oh, okay. Or cry about the end of summer. Yeah.、Oh. Mike is throwing a party this Saturday. Want to come with me?、Mm. So if if someone is saying he's throwing a party, you already feel like oh it's going to be fun. It's going to be like there there's going to be a reason why he's throwing the party. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It might like I instantly think it's going to be loud、mm -hmm. or big. There's going to be maybe. Some dancing. There's going to be energy,、mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So have a party is a very kind of neutral word choice. Doesn't have any extra imagery with it, right? But to throw a party, I do feel it's it's more of a celebration. Yeah. Or it's bigger. Yeah. Or something of those lines.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you throw、uh, an event? You can throw an event sometimes. So if you you can throw a launch event, uh huh. Like、okay. if you are a company that is launching a new product、mm -hmm. and you want to give a big like, bang bang boom boom、yeah. sort yeah. of feel、mm -hmm. to your event, you can、mm -hmm. throw an event. Okay,、mm -hmm. all right. So and so it's not you have to make sure that there's a reason why this is happening、yeah. and it's for very specific purpose. Right. Yeah. If、uh. it is a it was an event, but it's a sad. Event? event, yeah. You would not use the throw. term throw. Okay,、mm -hmm. so throw is very much closely connected to excitement, celebration, that kind of thing. Yes. Okay. To tug at someone's heartstrings.、Mm -hmm. This means like it causes emotions、yes. of sympathy、mm -hmm. or like oh fondness. Oh. Like oh, like yeah. okay.、Aww. Yeah. Let's see how it's used. Why are you crying, Judy? I was watching a romantic movie. They always tug at my heartstrings. Yeah, when you watch a romantic movie,、mm. why does it tug at your heartstrings? I mean, I if you like romance, yeah. If you love love, right, right, right. <laughs> you know,、uh, mm -hmm. whenever the the lead male says the perfect line、mm -hmm. to the the lead actress, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. He's the perfect gentleman, right? The reason why it's tugging at your heartstrings、mm. is because you probably love romance. Yeah, it's probably because you're like, you know, just. In love with love, yes, right.、Uh -huh. Maybe animals, or you know, like、uh, stray dogs. Oh yeah, tug at your heartstrings. You put a dog.、Why? You put a dog in a movie. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That definitely tugs at my heartstrings. I know you recently watched a movie,、uh, and you cried a lot. I did. I cried. I had no moisture left in my body. 
I cried so much. So that movie tugged at your heart. Oh yes, very That's much. That's right.、Uh-huh. So it's almost like something is kind of touching you emotionally. Yes, and it can be happy、mm-hmm. or sad. Okay, okay. Certain songs pull at my heartstrings and make me tear up.、Mm. Yeah. So again, they're all kind of related to crying. Yeah, it's true. It's it's. It's kind of hitting something in the heart, yeah, and it's making you very emotional. Oh yeah, yeah. You'll often、mm. speaking of the, like songs.、Mm. There's this really famous song in the U.S. Yeah. Do you know the the song Butterfly Kisses? I'm not sure. So it's、okay. played at every wedding. Oh. And it's this song. This dad wrote this、mm-hmm. song about、mm-hmm. his daughter.、Mm-hmm. And it's called Butterfly Kisses. And a butterfly kiss is whenever you're so close to someone,、uh-huh. your eyelashes touch <gasps> like butterflies.、Oh! Flapping against each other. Okay. And the whole song is this dad remembering when his daughter was like six,、oh. and he could like do butterfly kisses with her. Oh my god! But now she's getting married. Oh! I swear, every time you hear this song at an American wedding, <laughs> it pulls at everybody's heartstrings, heartstrings. and everyone's crying at、that's, the wedding. That's right. Because the dad is giving away his little angel. Right. Yeah. So anything that makes you very emotional, like、yeah. that you want to cry,、yeah. that's pulling at your heartstrings.、Mm-hmm. We can say pull or tug. Yes. Both of them work.、Mm-hmm. All right. Great expressions.、Uh, if you are in someone's Good graces. Yes. Okay. What does this mean? This means that the person thinks good of you. They're not mad at you.、Mm-hmm. They like you,、mm-hmm. and they think that you're a, a good person. Okay.、Yeah. All right. Let's、mm. see how this works. I really want your mother to like me. Just say nice things about me, and you'll always be in her good graces. Okay. I got in、um, Jeanne's or Jean's good graces when I helped her carry her groceries to her apartment.、Mm. So it's almost like you do something, and it's like,、um, okay, yeah, Cameron's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Oh, tesso, cena tesso. You know how Korean people say things like that.、Uh, That's being in someone's good graces. Right. It, like they did something that made you feel like, yeah, he's a good person. Right.、Yeah. Right.、Uh, and you often, you often、yeah. talk about this with like people in authority. Yeah. So like a teacher's good graces. Yes. Or your in-laws. In-laws' good, good graces. graces. Your boss. Your boss's good graces. Okay. Yeah. Power powder. If you do this,、mm. okay. If you, it's a condition, right? Yes. If you do this, I I will owe you a favor. Yeah. If you do this, Sam will never forgive you. Okay. If you do that thing,、yeah. this is the result. All right.、Uh, a big ask is a great power vocab. Do check out、uh, check out the definition on page one thirty eight. And quickly, let's thank our sponsor. Hangul Toy Kwon.